In this video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of the mapped in editor, which is what we'll be using to actually create our 3D map. So starting in the top left here, we've got our main menu. This gives you options for going back to the dashboard, logging out, or viewing legal information about the product. If we want to rename our venue, we can click into the name here and name it anything we wish. We can hover the level selector to access different levels, depending on if we uploaded more floors or not. And there's also a more menu that will allow you to adjust anything that you've done during the onboarding process, like uploading floors, um, changing your world position or the address, realigning floors, and you can even copy existing geometry to another floor from here. In the top right, we've got the ability to search anything that we ha may have named. So for example, if we select a room and we name it library, we can search for a library in here. Right now, we only have one location, so it just shows up there very easily. But that's how we can find anything we've named. Um, we can also download the map is, as different file types, like a safety p PDF or a GeoJSON format. And we can preview our map, which allows us to see the map in 3D, our end product, which we can then share with other people. In the bottom left-hand corner, we've got our layers menu. So we have the ability to toggle the base map, the geometry, and the street map. Uh, a nice tip is that if you're mapping, for example, and you want to be able to see underneath the geometry that you've already mapped, you can hold X. And then that'll show you just the base map. And then you can release X, and all of the geometry will come back. On the bottom here, we've got all of our tooling that is actually going to help you map your venue. Um, there's a whole host of different things here available to you that I'll detail more in another video. But just know that this is where all of your geometry tooling actually is to create your map. And then in the bottom right, we've got our help center. So here you can see release notes, tutorials, keyboard shortcuts. You can submit feedback to us if there's a feature you'd like to see or something like you'd like to see addressed. And you can contact us for support or for sales. And that is all about the Mapton Editor.